Hey, this is Pablo from DMB Academy, and today we have another preset patch request. Today we're going to be making some type of atmospheric leads like the ones in the track Descended by Bunshin. So this is the original version. And this is the lead we're going to be creating. Now I know it's not the same in terms of tonality and format, but I think it is enough to illustrate all the movements and post processing that you can apply to any vocal to turn them into this type of sound. But before you start with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you're already subscribed, share this with a producer friend who you think would appreciate having this resource. This helps support the channel immensely and helps us continue making these videos. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have a sampler and we're gonna begin by talking about the vocal. So originally the vocal sounds like this. This is actually me just saying <laughs> trying to get in pitch and then I just record a few of those because I can't use other vocals. That's me right there. And yep, I just selected a point of the sample that I liked. And then I activated the sustain mode so it loops a section of that vocal. Once this section is over, it will go back and loop this portion. Like that. So that will make it a bit seamless. Next we have to play the notes. But as you can see in the MIDI, we have to add an overlap in the notes so we get a glide. So to activate that glide, we need to go into the pitch and oscillator tab and select glide here and adjust its time. I like to use 120 milliseconds. There you go. And next, I just added a bit of attack in the vocal. And that's it, that's basically the source of our sound. You can also add some pitch bend, like this. But honestly, I would do that adding just another note here, for example, starting this one octave below, like this. And so as you can see, you have a lot of room to play. So now talking about post-processing, we have a compressor to boost the gain of this. Then we have a saturator to add more harmonics. Then we have a vocoder. And this vocoder helps shift the format of the sound. So if I put it 100% on wet, I can use this format knob. And it kind of works as a filter, giving an accent on a specific frequencies. So the only thing that I did was shifting the format a bit higher to sound more like a girl and then bring the dry and wet down and bring them down then I added an alter boy and this is the same principle I just shifted the format of my voice so yep that's it for that one then I also added a format filter Because once again, shaping my voice, it's all about the formant. Next, I just had a tuner to make sure I was in the right notes. I could be a better singer, honestly. But for the sake of this tutorial, that's as good as it gets. Next, I have a chorus. It's a 40% dry and wet, it's just like parallel processing, just adding a bit of a stereo information and a bit of coloration in the voices. And then we have an EQ boosting the highs. Then we have some delay. To add some echo on the vocal. And then we have reverb to add a lot of ambient into the vocal.
Then we have an OTT to compress everything. Here in this OTT, we don't have it on 100% amount and the default time because that completely destroys the dynamics of the sound. So I like to use OTTs in kind of a parallel way by bringing the amount down and boosting the time all the way up so we don't have a lot of tail. And that helps adding this bright thanks to the upwards compression. Then I just had another tuner once again. Make sure I stay in tune. Then I just cleaned this vocal, cutting the lows and boosting some of the mids and highs. And then there's just some utility in case you need some gain. And the whole sound will change if you change the vocal. As you can see. In some points of the vocal, I say ooh, in others I say ha, etc, etc. So, this is how you can create your own vocal leads without having even vocals or being a singer. Um, it's all about this processing and just trying to create a texture with your voice. You can add some air like ha, or less air like ooh, you know. So yeah, that's going to be it for this sound. If you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Also, don't forget that if you want to get more in-depth lessons and tutorials, we have many courses with pro artists and we also have a lot of production resources like presets and sample packs on our website. You just got to visit dmbacademy.com. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.